Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. Stuff, it's all I have left. It's safer here. All right, I'm moving. Jeez. on that train? Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. Welcome. I'm not Welcome. sure when that was. Welcome to Did City there, 17. There be nice, though, letting me you wait have for chosen him. or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Welcome to City 17. It's safer. They never leave. You never see them go. I see. They took your suitcase, too. They can't get away with this much longer. I'm working up the nerve to go on. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that Welcome. too loud. This is his base Welcome of operations. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the city of so thoughtfully provided by our benefits. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. 
Must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to join civil protection just to get a decent meal. Allow me to address the line starts at the end. You'll have to wait your turn like everybody else. Rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left on voice. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is... This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our euro precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals upon the meager fire and started that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses, and today we create the extreme In 
instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct slyly and covertly compels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be expanded. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basis of human Good authority is close at hand. Word to the wise, keep it to yourself. Thank you for writing, concerned. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses, with all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concern. Rather You're gonna be than damn hungry to wait in line for this crap. Question you might have left on voice. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires It also requires planning. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals in a meager fire and started at the shadows that left upon the cabin's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses, and today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become a
always starts. First the building, then the whole block. And they have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. I also detect some unspoken questions to our benefactors. Look at them down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Because this once I hope they're wrong. I can't take it anymore. Everything's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? Don't think of something. Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your city's protection team. Hey, you! Full reward. Head for the roof! There's no time to lose! Here they come! Help! Failure to cooperate will result in permanent off-world relocation. Oh, shit! Get in here, quick! Keep moving, head for the roof! Dr. Freeman, I presume. I'd better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular.
We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it, get it off me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Up, up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. <clears throat> the Mark V Hazardous Environment Suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my work. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. 
Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. The massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to C1 base and LG orbifold. Hilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Visualizing in three, two, one. No fiddlesticks. What now? Dear me, you're right. Gordon. Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'll be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your pet, the freaking head hopper! Rawr! Ready! Go now! There he is! Is Lamar with him? Get about that thing! He's coming through, Dad. What's going on, dude? I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put! We'll get you out of here. Something is drawing him away. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? Hey, hey, hey! Gordon, whoops. There he is! Oh, we're losing him again. The more I saw, I'm all but certain it was... Gordon Freeman. Hey, Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it.
Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Be careful now. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same mystery. Get going now. Attention, protection. That is in progress. Response, isolate. Now, behind the fence, ground 
That station was raided, but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep the railway alive.
Thank you. 